Today's sh sermon should be kind of short. So I look up. <clears throat> Today's sermon should be kind of short. Not just because I've got noise in the background from uh, construction on the house, <laughs> but because this topic I just didn't have a lot to say about. But I think it's an important topic. And the subject is why. Why do we do the things we do? On Facebook, I like to ask questions that Sometimes people think they're rather ridiculous. I agree. But the point of those questions is to make people think outside of the, outside of normal, whatever that is. You know, I've never asked this, but if if uh, if we reshuffled all the colors and the sky was now called green, how would that change anything? I mean, those are just words, right? They can mean whatever we want them to mean. So, if we shuffle all the colors, what color would we call this guy? <laughs> I don't know. There's not, not necessarily a right or wrong answer to a lot of the questions I ask. But I'm trying to get people to think. So, here, I want you to think. Do you ever wonder why you do some of the things you do or why you do them the way you do them there's the well-told story of the little girl who asked her mommy mommy why do you cut the ends off the roast before you put it in the oven and her mom says I don't know let's call your, your grandmother so they call grandma and grandma says well I don't know let's call great grandma so they call great grandma and she says well, that's because my roasting pan wasn't big enough for a full roast. <laughs> and from generation to generation, they did it without understanding why. So I'm here to ask you if you know why you do things the way you do them. Or just think about it. Why do you do it the way you do it? I'm not here to tell you what's right and wrong. I I I'm just not trying to say you're doing it wrong if you're cutting the ends off the roast. You know, maybe great grandma cut the ends of the roast off because her pan was too small, but maybe the end result was maybe the roast was better. I don't know. Depends on how they fixed it, I suppose. So, on Facebook, here's a question I did recently ask. When you get to a gas pump, do you stop at an even dollar amount or not? And why? Simple question. When you're pumping gas, do you stop at an even dollar amount or not? And why? Now some said they just let it stop wherever. Personally, that's me. You know, I read something that said that's the best way to do it. You don't overfill and blah, blah, blah. Listen, it's on a, I usually, usually use a piece of plastic to pay for it. What do I care if it's an even dollar amount? Now, the folks that put every last drop in that they can get, they justify it by saying, well, I don't want to stop for gas more often than I have to. You know, what do they put in? A half gallon more than I do? <laughs> Probably not going to make a big difference in life. You know what I mean? But to them... Maybe it does make a difference. I don't know. It depends on how far they drive, where they drive, and so forth. Maybe some of it's because that's the way their parents did it. Why do they do it? Why do I do it the way I do? Then always. See, I used to be an even dollar amount person. There are a lot of folks that said they do that, and that's because back in the old days, when they paid cash for everything, uh, they didn't want to bother with change. They'd go in... Or maybe it was, uh, you know, a tenant nearby, and you hand them a $5 bill, and you, say, you remember when gas was that cheap? Yeah, I filled it up. Here's $5. <laughs> Here's a $10 bill. I just put in 10 You know, some people do it 
that way because that's how they did it back then or some people still pay with cash and that's why they do it that way not saying one way's right and one way's wrong people I'm asking you why do you do it the way you do it do you ever think about it obviously we all do things differently now than once upon a time a long time ago whatever whatever the thing is why do we do what we do today when we did it different back then you know when I was a youngster, I walked to school because I was too young to drive. And when I got older, I rode a bicycle to school. I didn't do it before that because the school had a rule against it. And then when I got old enough, the school had a rule I could ride a bicycle, so I did. And then when I got old enough, the school had a rule I could drive, so I did. Things change. Why? Why do you change what you do? Think about it. Some of those changes are good, but maybe some of them are bad. And maybe we need to think about that. Let's look at it from a slightly different perspective as I wrap this up. When I ask, why do you do things the way you do them? Perhaps I should be asking, why are you the way you are? Why are you the way you are? And are you happy with that? Now, I really doubt there's any of us that is totally happy with everything about the way we are. We all think we have some imperfections. Even the people that lie and say, I'm perfect. They always, well, most of them say it with a smile. The rest are total idiots, so what do we care? Please think about why you do things and why you do them the way you do them, why you are the way you are. If you don't like what you do or the way you do it, or if you don't like the way you are, change. All right, that's the intro. Now let's get to the spiritual part, okay? All those same questions apply to you in a spiritual manner. Sermon done. God bless.